So I don't know about you, but uh, I like to write with my pen and paper, with a journal, with the Remarkable 2, but I also want to digitize things, right? I don't want to have to search through my papers. I can't add tags to my journal. Actually, I guess I could, but it's a little bit slower. Uh, And so I've really thought, you know, and looked at a lot of systems where it's like, okay, we're going to go paperless, right? And we're going to go all digital or Um, you know, we're going to have one paper journal and that's going to be our master system. And like a lot of things in life, the answer for me was, you know, I need both. Uh, It's not going to work to just be like, well, I just work digitally and this is the only thing I do and I never have paper. It also just didn't work for me realistically to have paper, especially when I have a team that works online, we're remote. It just doesn't work. So my feeling is that's the same for a lot of people. You want to be able to write down a note or you want to be able to draw out an idea get these things out of your head, but then have a way to digitize the important stuff. So what I have done recently, um, and this can be generalized to a lot of areas, but um, using either a journal um, like the one I've got here, or again, the Remarkable, and then taking that into uh, Rome Research. So this could be something you do a bunch of different areas. It could be in Notion. Um, uh, Those are just two of the more popular ones I know, but anywhere you're using it where you can import information like pictures and text, Uh, you could do this. So what I've been doing is using this, writing out my notes, again, whatever that is. Uh, A lot of times I use it as uh, brainstorming or I've got an idea and I just need to work through it, cross stuff out. It's kind of messy, right? Do some drawing, some doodling, write it out. And then if it's good enough, I'll save it. And how I've been doing that uh, with the Remarkable, you can email it to yourself. That's one way. Um, But what I like to do is to actually use something that has OCR, optical character recognition, uh, so that I can get some of the text off the page immediately. Again, um, the Remarkable can do that uh, part of it, but sometimes if I've got drawings and text and I want to save it all, I want to actually have a picture of the page, and I can do that as well on the handwritten journal where, of course, Paper and pen doesn't have uh, some OCR electronic capability. So I'm going to go into the video. I'm going to do a little bit of an overview here where I show what the actual uh, results look like. Um, So I'm going to fade over to that in a second, and you can check it out and see if this is something that you could incorporate. Again, whether you're writing by hand, uh, using Remarkable, another tablet, uh, and then wherever you want to put that stuff, whether for long-term storage or editing or use in a bigger project digitally, whether, you know, it's Rome Research, it's Notion, whatever that tool is. So let's go over and check it out. Okay, so we'll keep this part pretty short. Just uh, I'm not going to show you myself taking a picture, but um, I will show what I'm doing to lay this out. So, you know, you could do this in any tool again, but we're going to upload the image that I took of what I wrote. Um, So let's go down. I think this would be the first one here without anything on it. Yep, we want to upload this. So we're going to give that a second. So once that's uploaded, I'm going to tap on the little pencil icon so I can indent underneath that. If you're using Rome, definitely want to do that. And what I'm going to do now is go here. This is Google Lens. So all I had to do was take a a shot. Yeah, you focus on it and then you can um, basically copy the text out of it, which is great. So I'm going to click on copy text and then we're going to go back to Rome. And now I can just paste everything on there. Let me move that down and you can see it just adds it in there. It's not going to do a lot of formatting for it. Um, but then we can go in and edit either now or you don't need to. Now that it's indented under the picture, um, you know, a lot of it is done. I'm going to stop this now uh, and go to the computer so we can talk a little bit more about some ways you can clean this up and kind of get some more power out of it. But that's really uh, of the basic parts of it. Okay, now we're back on the desktop just so this is easier so I can talk, uh, but you could do this on the phone as well. So once you've got the content under here, you know, if you wanted to, you could definitely nest things under here. Um, This is more specific to Rome Research. Of course, you could do this anywhere else. Um, But let's see, we had some other thing and we had drawing and that under that. So let's see, productivity newsletter and this stuff. So there we're just formatting it a little bit. And what else you could do is, again, depends on the tool you're using. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but you could add some uh, references, right? So maybe you could have uh, tags. Um, or source or something like that. Or even in Rome, you can just add tags. Um, I'm going to call this like ideas, Um, you know, something like that. If you use these, if not, don't worry about it. But just remember, it makes it uh, easier when you add a little bit of markup. But just keep in mind that like, you know, doing uh, the least as needed right now, but to be able to make this useful in the future. 
So you've got the whole image here, which I like, whether you know you need it for recognition because sometimes the OCR isn't good. I definitely with my handwriting, it doesn't get it all correct. And if you have little boxes or things all over the place, you know, it can get kind of messy. So it's good to have the reference. And then I like this just to help as I do text search in whatever um, app I'm using. Uh, this can help it, you know, uh, find what you're looking for as far as a reference. And then down here too, you can add any notes you want to now uh, or later or copy, you know, do whatever you need to do with that. But that's a general process. And uh, for now, I'm going to see how it goes. Uh, and uh, with Rome, one more thing I would do is I generally would add this to my daily notes. I wouldn't probably have a standalone page unless it was like for a really specific project. Uh, but that's just so that it's associated with a specific date. If I was doing it like I am here, I would probably add uh, today's date by doing something like today. Uh, so that then it's indexed by that date. But anyways, hopefully you found this useful. If you've got ideas or you've got suggestions on how you do your uh, journaling or your writing and then getting that into a digital format, happy to hear it. And uh, hopefully you get some use out of this.